Guess what, y'all? Kim Kardashian is using her influence to bring back cricket wigs, or as Nylon likes to call it, a side part. Y'all. <laughs> Will someone get north and tell her to take her mama's phone away? Kim Kardashian is in the middle of a nothing like a midlife crisis with a heavy side of heartbreak. I don't care what y'all say. If the way Kim hasn't been moving and planting stories don't lead you to believe that Pete broke up with her, I don't know what has. This is actually getting sad and somebody needs to help her. But who? Chris is busy babysitting Chloe because she's afraid Chloe is going to like open her window and let Tristan tr creep in. And before you know it, Tristan is going to have Chloe, the surrogate, and another woman pregnant. He going to get to his seven children come hook or crook. And right now he's at what? Four? Three more to go. Let's hope Chloe is in the top three. But not even that, y'all. Let's sit here and think about it. Kim is literally trying to prove she's forever that girl feeding us diamond of pearls. The only thing is, girls, those are pop rocks and ring candy. Get out of here, Kim. <laughs> y'all, she's even planning fake articles. And on top of it, wait, pause. Future Tisa here. Y'all, what? What? Kim has done so much work to her face. She looks like Melania Trump right there. Now, don't get me wrong. Melania Trump is a girl just girl. But isn't Melania Trump like 65, 68 years old? Who is this slightly Eurasian looking woman staring back at me? Who is this girl I see staring right back at me? Seriously, who is this woman? Y'all... <laughs> And I forgot, that's what I, what I came online to tell y'all. She is stalking Che Anderson and Janet Goodsman and literally looking at their Instagram page and cut and pasting and putting it on herself. If you guys don't know, um, Che Anderson definitely is a designer for Balenciaga. Kanye put her on. He also dresses um, Janet Goodsman. They are two. Well, Che Anderson actually dressed. Listen, the whole point is they got the Kanye influence. They are Kanye's current muses, it looks like. And Kim can help herself. Woo, a girl can help it. Y'all, let's take a look at this midlife crisis in effect. But first, I want to look at uh, Kim's style <laughs> inspiration, and then we're going to start deconstructing what the hell is going on with her. Y'all, who knew a midlife crisis would be so amusing? All you needed was a crusty wig, <laughs> some crunchy sack dude that dumped you, and two hotter, cuter girls that dress better than you. Let's get into this. But before we do, hit that like button and subscribe. Y'all know I'm trying to get to 100,000. I'm almost there. If you are a returning user, I would, returning user, returning viewer, I would appreciate it. Um, but anyway, <laughs> let's get into this mess. All right, first let's start with this nylon article that clearly looks like somebody paid for it. Chris Jenner, I want to see your accounts receivable and your accounts payable because something thinks it's Kim Kardashian Media Incorporated. Anyway, Kim Kardashian is using her influence to bring the side part back. First of all, when did the side part ever leave? Second of all, are all these publications fooled into thinking Kim's not wearing a little straw, hay rag, whatever you got, mop plopped on her head, where she literally took a Sharpie marker and drew in the roots? Kim's had the same length roots since she got her hair dyed. Can we stop with this? But also with the side part. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the side part. And I ask you a serious question. Can we really consider this a side part if it's a wig plopped on your head sideways? She looks like she looked like she went to the beauty supply store to try on a wig for Halloween and she put it on crooked. And now the lady got to come and because there's no mirror for her to see in and got to come and help her turn it to the front. Look at this mess. She don't even got it. It's not even melted. The glue's not melted. She literally lifted. Look. Y'all, you can literally see where her cap is. It's, <laughs> I can't. And right over on the right, you can see the hump 
at the top of her hair where the weft is sticking up because they don't know how. I just don't understand. Do I need to be celebrity hairdresser? You literally go to people that don't know how to lay waist, lace fronts and charge them umpteen million dollars and you really think you're doing something? Y'all, what? The side part? I know a dehydrated wig when I see one because I am a fan of it. Her lace front is literally just sitting on crooked. And she got the nerve to be sitting here looking like she's waiting for Santa Claus. Like her name is Cindy Lou Who. Shout out to the Grinch that stole Christmas. What in the four long? Oh my God. La Femme Nikita. And, and, and also, oh my God, bring it back the side part. This is what Kim photo shoots have been given old school joanne the scammer t that's right i'm a messy bee who lives for drama this is what kim is given but she doesn't know that's what she's given every outtake she given the zoolander stare she got on that dry de dehydrated wig flipped anywhere and quiet as is kept kim and joanna's hairline is laying exactly the same way Literally, this is her style inspiration, but she just don't want us to know because you know she be stealing everything. Speaking of style, y'all, this is what Kim wore to Kylie Cosmetics launch party. Y'all, I am tired. Ha <laughs> ha! Now listen, I usually don't talk about what people wear, but since Kim is holding herself out as a style icon, let's deconstruct this hot mess, shall we? Y'all, first of all, I don't even want to get into the optics of a white passing woman <laughs> or what she's aspiring to transform into wearing black men on her shoes i'm sick of us pretending like dimma from balenciaga knows what he's doing when it comes to street fashion yes his couture line he is really great with farms of the body distortion draping i get all that but when it comes to the streetwear stuff his american apparel disco pants era it is literally Fashion Nova from four years ago. Now, maybe people in the upper 1% didn't know what was popping on Fashion Nova four years ago because they weren't even on Fashion Nova. But Dima is literally repackaging Fashion Nova and not even cute Fashion Nova, but he's literally repackaging Fashion Nova to the rich masses. And I'm tired of seeing it. But let's talk about Kimberly, shall we? wearing black people on her boots and let me guess somebody gonna be in my comments being like it's okay because she's doing prison reform please anyway let's deconstruct this outfit because y'all kim is wearing a shiny spandex onesie like american apparel disco pants shiny but not in a satin way just shiny like amazon express that cheap spandex she's then wearing uh, suede thigh highs with a black person's image on the side right she then has on that mini black balenciaga croc uh bag she keeps trying to make happen terminator two glasses these damn what is it xena warrior princess earrings and she has her hair pulled back in what is supposed to be a messy bun oh you guys where do we start first of all the messy bun Kim is not a carefree person. She is a type A person. She delights in being a type A person. The fact that she tries to pull her hair back in a messy, clean girl aesthetic bun, but everything is lacquered and hair sprayed into place, even that half ponytail bun, because Kim thinks she's different, everybody's pulling their hair through that ponytail to go in the bun and stop halfway. Kim thinks, you know what? Just leave it like that. She literally looked in the mirror at this bespeckled, highly shellac side note, messy supposedly bun, looked at it half done, looked at her hairdresser and said, you know what? Let's make history. You cannot do easy breezy, casual, clean girl. Yeah, I'm just so youthful and fun and sexy. And yeah, my bun's all over the place and make it highly manicured and select. She even hairsprayed the wispy parts in the back are sp literally hairspray with some got to be <laughs> hairspray. Y'all, somebody tell Kim if she wants to look more youthful. Just embrace the clean girl aesthetic. But then again, the clean girl aesthetic is all about youthful beauty. And while Kim is beautiful, the way she is just, everything is so forced and contrived. There's nothing youthful about it. Let's talk about this outfit. Now, I see what's going on. Kim's saying, you know what? 
don't need anyone. I'm just going to follow my own instinct because you've gotten a bunch of paid employees that gas your head up and cap your head up. Oh my God, polka dots with stripes. You're a natural. Wow, Kimberly, you're just so naturally, effortlessly stylish. You know what this reminds me of? Do y'all remember when everybody goes through a phase in their life like this where for a good six months, maybe a year, you are going out almost every night of the week and what's more you're in high demand everybody is having a party once you you're out the all the lounges you are doing it but the only thing is you have to go to some parties and you're like you know what i don't even feel like this and all your friends are buying outfits and you're like man i ain't buying anything for that i'm just gonna shop out of my closet just hear me out y'all so you put on stuff out your closet. You put on a black unitard that don't really match the black suede boots with the black bag. It's like 18 different shades of black you wearing. And you know, but, and you pick out these damn earrings that don't really match. But at the end of the day, you're like, I look okay. And on top of that, I ain't spend any money. I just shopped out of my closet. So this is good enough for tonight, y'all, let's go. Cause truth be told, you really didn't even want to be there. So they're lucky right? They're lucky you even showed up. This is the vibe that Kim is giving. Even her earrings. Remember when you were younger and you would go to the beauty supply store with your mom? If anybody, if you guys didn't live in the city, the beauty supply store, all the earrings are a dollar, maybe at the most a dollar ninety nine. You could get three pairs for five dollars. You they're so cheap because you can only wear them like four times before they start turning, right? However, there was always that rack of earrings that nobody's touching. They're like, oh, you can get two for ninety nine cents, but nobody would touch them because they look like the mess that Kim got on her ears. Y'all, I can not. But let's get into Kim and how she's basically stealing from all Kanye's muses. Or actually with Che Anderson. Che Anderson is actually a really talented designer herself. She has a line called Sweet Talk Global. If you want to know what their clothes look like, it looked like this whole thing that Kim got on. Everything that Kim has been wearing lately looks like a cut and paste copy from Sweet Talk Global. And she is doing her best to look like a Che Anderson or a Janet Goodsman or definitely a Chaney Jones, right? To which I say, Kim, you're playing a dangerous game, my friend. You've done your best to ascend into a full Caucasian woman. I will say, Chloe's done it better. Side note. It has not escaped my attention, nor have I failed to notice that Kim has completely cut and paste Chloe style. Well, a corny version of Chloe style, because say what you want, Chloe could always dress. She's literally glommed and she's trying to take Chloe style. Chloe's too heartbroken about Tristan to notice, but lucky for Chloe, Kim don't have the style or the foresight to pull it off. But anyway, back to Kim stealing sweet talk global. Janet Gutsman, of course, Chaney Jones's style. Look at this mess, even the swimsuit, everything about it, the whole, ah. I mean, I gotta tell you, I find it offensive that Kim pulls on cultural standards of beauty, even morphing into the body types, the style, everything of women and then just shirking it when it's done. You might not find anything wrong with it. I actually do. I'm not gonna get into a whole cultural anthropology and um, you know, what is it, uh, erotic colonization. I, what do y'all think it is? Vote one for midlife crisis, vote two for heartbreak, vote three in the comment section for midlife crisis and heartbreak, and vote four for midlife cri for a tacky person with no style going through a midlife crisis and going through a heartbreak by being publicly dropped, dumped and humiliated by a 28 year old man. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. And I will talk to you later, bye.